What's cooking, you fitness fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. Obviously, tomorrow is a big, big day. It's a huge match day for Juventus as they take on Atalanta in Bergamo. Uh, Max Allegri had some comments to make, and we also had some news regarding our own Kyle George. Stick with us. We'll fill you in now. <laughs> Ciao ragazzi, welcome back to the Bianca Neri Zone, my name is Justin Sofro, today is February 12th, 2022, it's a Saturday, and of course I have your latest rundown of all things Juventus, all that you care about as quickly as possible to get you in and out and about your day. Uh, before we do anything though, if you could please go ahead, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos, doing all those things really helps our channel and helps us continue to grow. Uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Uh, one of the first news stories of the day that we're going to have here, before we get into what Allegri had to say about Atalanta though, is about our own Kyle George. So let's go ahead and bring that up here right now. And basically, uh, late, uh, I guess it was early this morning, depending where you are, if you're on UV time, early in the morning, if you're on my time, late at night. Uh, Nico Schietta had a comment basically about uh, Juventus, uh, do they, that they do not want to sell Kyle George. Bianca Neri have rejected five bids on loan for the young striker. Cagliari, Salernitana, and Granada had asked for him in January, while FC Basel had it and, and a Russian club have shown interest in the latest in the last hours as well so as it seems right now juventus uh are wanting their intent on retaining him and retaining his services with the club and hopefully actually uh, retaining him as an actual player for the future for juventus uh i'll be honest i haven't when i when I'm, i don't want to be too critical of him because he hasn't had a lot of opportunity to shine right he's about uh, had about as much opportunity as maybe uh sule has <laughs> if we're being honest i mean it's a little bit more uh but it's not it's Pretty more comparable to that than any other player um, with Juventus's club currently. So we'll see what happens there. I guess there's something there that either the Allegri or the management truly believe in him and think that he can really be um, a good, uh, you know, obviously he's a fourth option as a striker right now, but they still believe in him and think that he's a good option. Obviously, uh, with those people that are actually interested in him, uh, the amount of money would have to be substantial. Uh, well, I guess it would have to be substantial, substantial, but. You want, you want to make some money off of him. You don't want to just get the same, what, five, six mil or whatever that you got for, uh, that you paid for him to begin with. Um, of course, obviously, remember when we talked about it during the summer when Juventus brought him in, um, the uh, talks or the idea, the ridiculous claims that he was the next Neymar or Ronaldo. Like, come on, obviously he is not that. Uh, but at the same time, let's see what he can develop and be. Maybe he can become the next best thing and that a Kyle George can be. All right. That's really it when it came to Kyle George. Just want to get that update out there for you guys. All right. Now let's get to what Max Allegri had to say there about Juventus playing Atalanta in Bergamo um, tomorrow and what, what they can expect from there and what are some of the priorities uh, for Max Allegri and his squad. Basically, he said, tomorrow is a direct confrontation. It will be a physical and technical game. I have to evaluate the condition of the players we come from a very demanding games also from a mental point of view. So just where they come from, how are they doing? Um, I think right now it's a big test. It's a real big test uh, going up against Adelanta. Obviously Adelanta are on a slide right now. They're not playing the best, uh, their best football that they've played this season. I think that I don't think anybody would argue that with me, but at the same time, it's still, um, you know, if it weren't for Juventus, a top four squad, uh, or, yeah, that they're going up against in the city. I, and if we're being honest, Juventus have not won a game against the top four yet. They've done a lot of draws, a lot of draw, a lot of draws there um, so far. So we'll see what happens against Atalanta. Hopefully they can end up pulling that out uh, there when they started out. They should be able to. Uh, continuing on, he said, it's not decisive tomorrow, but very important. And Atalanta have shown they deserve a place in the top. It will be difficult, physical game, and they're angry. We'll have to perform at a high level. I, I, I don't know if they're angry. I, I couldn't tell you if they're angry. I know they added uh, Jeremy Boga from uh, Sassuolo, and I think he's a solid piece. Uh, but at the same time, they're still continuing. They dropped that game to Fiorentina. Otherwise, we, we would be playing Atalanta in the um, the final four, whatever you want to call it, of the Coppa Italia, the semifinals. Um, so I don't know how angry they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they're a team that's fired up and ready to go. But at the same time, um, we'll see. Hopefully... Juventus can uh, continue to have some bit of a uh, little bit of a, the upper hand when it comes to playing Atalanta, even though they're going uh, to play them on their home turf. All right. 
Let's continue on. He goes on to say, I am very calm about the quality of the substitutes who gave a ton on Thursday. Obviously, um, well, let's say this. Your substitute on Thursday was, Ky- oh, was not sorry, stuck on Kyle George. What I was about to say it was Locatelli. <laughs> it was Manuel Locatelli, who I think a lot of people, myself, I mean, at least just myself included, of course, um, would argue, what the bleep are you doing not starting Manuel Locatelli in that match. I still don't understand the um, the motive for that and the reason they didn't do that. Um, but as it stands right now, yeah, if you put guys like that on the bench, you should feel pretty good about your substitutes. Uh, Manuel Locatelli, I think, should have started alongside Zacharia. I would have liked to see them play some meaningful minutes together, but unfortunately, it wasn't to happen. Um, and then, of course, you have Marata, who came in, who played really well, um, you know, not last game of the game before. I think he still was okay. He was serviceable uh, last game, but he didn't really do anything because he obviously didn't have a lot of time to work with. Um, so, yeah, if you bring in those guys who are starters, <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're going to be okay uh, with your substitutes. Uh, he goes on to say, we have to improve in the last pass individually. As long as you play football, you can and must improve because you work every day for that. So, yeah, absolutely. How important are those final? Uh, well, it's just also um, – being more intentional with what you're doing. Like don't just wing it when you're, you know, when you're coming on either the last pass or your actual shot attempt, McKinney, uh, <laughs> McKinney, like you have so many opportunities. You, McKinney, you could argue should have had a, um, a what's it called? A, a hat trick <laughs> the other day, but unfortunately not a single one of those was meant to be. So we'll see uh, if they can continue to maybe clean it up a little bit there, be a little bit more sharp when it comes to finishing there. Uh, he also says we have to be good in bringing the favorable moments on our side. So I think that's just kind of a, uh, I don't want to say a fancy term, but a, a nicer way of saying what I was saying about McKinney. Just make sure you're uh, you're doing your part to actually fade. Don't just put it all up to luck there. All right. He goes on to say the further we go, the harder it will be to win games because the points become uh, important for everyone. We will have to be ready when the decisive moment is at our feet. A player like Vlaovic, in terms of characteristics, was missing from this team. There's enthusiasm, but I'll say it again and again. We haven't done anything. For Juve, winning games is the norm. So that's good. I, I, I like to see at least that a little bit more of a realize who you are. You know, act like you've been there before. You were Juventus. Juventus should be winning. Let's not celebrate that Juventus is starting to look a little bit better. Because that's not good enough for Juventus. Juventus want to win. They want to win Scudettos. You know, they don't win Scudetti. When you win the Scudetto nine years in a row, um, you can't be happy with just competing or being close now, not not, not being there, you know. Um, he goes on to say, uh, or at least basically, let me go back a little bit where he says, further we go, the harder it will be to win games. Points become important for everyone. We'll have to be ready for the test on their feet. I think that's just a bit more of a coach speak, but also – yeah, I mean, duh, of course. Everybody wants to get the points. Everybody wants to go Champions League. Everybody wants that Champions League money, even if you don't think you're going to compete to win at all. All right, continuing on. says about the Trident tomorrow. It may or may not be fielded. I have to evaluate things. Uh, talk about as much of a non-answer as possible. We're just saying may or maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, so obviously with the Trident, it would be amazing. I would love to see more play. Uh, if it were up to me, and it's not up to me, it'd be up to. I, I would do a 4-3-3. This is just me. And I don't know Jack Bleep when it comes to stuff compared to a lot of people. But I really like what I saw when I saw Dybala uh, with Vlaovic in the middle. And Dybala and Monata alongside him. I think it really opened up a lot, of things for the scoring. And then, of course, in the midfield, I want to see Zakaria and Locatelli playing together. That's something that I really want to see uh, moving forward. He says, tomorrow we will have to attack Atalanta's weak points and technically play a good game. Two-man midfield, let's see. Now, considering Bernadeschi's absence, it's difficult. So, obviously, yeah. Second point, duh, of course. <laughs> of course, you have to tag their weak points and play a good game. That's just another... I mean, what, what do you expect if you're playing a game? Uh, any any sport. Uh, Two-man midfield, let's see. Now, considering Bernadette's absence, it's difficult. Uh, we, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens there and what develops, uh, what, he, what he ends up going along with. Obviously, I said already what I would like to see out there. He continues. He says, the three teams in front have a big lead. I'll say it again. So, it's difficult to come back. Now let's think about Atalanta and then work one game at a time. Obviously, uh, this is a good way of attacking anything. Obviously, um, you don't want to get ahead of yourself and start thinking about this game down the line, down the line, down the line. Then you end up losing games to like Cagliari, Cagliari, uh, you know, Genoa, any, any team like that, obviously. 
Um, then he goes on to say, Zakaria is an intelligent player. He has settled in very well and found a growing team. There are conditions to be able to do well. I like him because he knows how to play the game. Um, obviously, if you've uh, watched any, any bit of Zakaria since he came into Juventus, to me, I think it's unquestionable that he may be our best midfielder that we have right now, and hopefully he can continue to play as such. All right, and then finally he says, Atalanta Juve is not decisive for them or us, but it's important. Um, I disagree. <laughs> I'd say it's – you may say it's not decisive, but I think it's decisive in saying if you can compete – uh, for the Scudetto at any point in the season because um, other pieces obviously had to fall in your favor when it comes to uh, Inter had to drop points, Milan had to drop points, and Napoli had to continue to drop points. Um, while one or two of those are very possible, um, all three to happen is not super uh, – well, it, it, it's likely but not super likely if you end up losing this match uh, against Atalanta and you lose all three points or if you lose any points at all. Um, it's not likely that you'll be able to climb back up the table um, to end up competing for that. So I'd say right now, this is a must-win situation for Juventus. It's dire straits. you got to win. you got to get these points. Um, and then otherwise, we'll be talking about this season a bit differently if you don't. So we'll see how, the, how it ends up playing out. But I think if you ask me, it's a must-win. All right, guys, that's what Max Allegri had to say when it came to the, the uh, match coming up against Atalanta tomorrow in Bergamo. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you agree or disagree with some of the points that I made and some of the points that he made, of course, as well? Um, also, make sure you remember we are giving away a free official Juventus Vlaovic shirt on February 24th. Make sure you're liking, retweeting that on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for your chance to win that. Uh, also, please go ahead and hit that like button if you liked the video you saw today. Hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. We'll see you guys next time. Forza Juve. Forza Valcanary.